Hello collectors, today we have fire and dice. We have a bunch of fire trucks and ice clearing equipment, very often found in airports. Uh, these are 1 400 scale 3D prints off of shapeways.com and uh, the reason why I made these is because not many choices were available back when I was collecting those kind of uh, die cast airplanes. As usual my reference is this uh, classic Range Rover on a US penny. But there are larger scales available on Shapeways, just to let you know. They'll be easier to paint, but the model's going to cost more. As you can see, it's quite fragile. I, I broke that uh, rail there, because it's a really fragile piece. I think I've bulked up the rail since then, so if, if you buy it, your model should be stronger. Okay, this fire truck here we're looking at is an Oshkosh. So that's a US-based uh, company. They make military vehicles as well. But this is called the Striker 4x4 ARFF. ARFF, I don't know, Advanced Response Firefighter? I'm just I'm just guessing what that acronym means. But you can see it's a huge truck, right, next to that Range Rover. Because airport vehicles don't have to worry about the width of their... They don't drive on public roads, so... Okay, if you think that's big, though, this next one is the 8x8 version. So, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a massive vehicle. So these are relatively modern vehicles, as you can tell by their design. But I like the classics too. So this is called a T3000, and that's a 6x6 one. And I saw a picture of one in pink, that's why I painted this one pink. Okay, and then uh, this next one is a T3000, but the 8x8 version. So, yeah, that's another cool one. I think I saw it in this chartreuse color as well, that's why I painted it that way. Alright, uh, well, we can get two more of these large modern ones out. So Rosenbauer is a European competitor, and this is their 6x6, called their Panther. And, uh, that one's got a pretty big water cannon on the, on the roof. And then this uh, is their 8x8 version, and that's got a serious water cannon that articulates up and down and all that stuff. So, all these are very big vehicles meant out to put a you know, if an airplane's on fire, it's got to be put out fast. So that's, I think, partially why these trucks are big. They must have really fast pumps to move as much water as possible. And they have to carry a lot of water to put out the fire, right? All right, uh, one more fire truck before I clear out the coaster. It's just a tiny little guy. This is a Unimog. A Unimog UL 1300. I'm, I guess I'll just put it right there. So Unimogs are off-road vehicles, so this is a fire truck meant to go out into the woods or the forest and put stuff out, so pretty neat, I think. Okay, here's a top view for you guys. Yeah, they're all huge, except for that Unimog. Actually, a Unimog's a pretty big vehicle, though. Let me clear this coaster. All right, uh, let's get a couple of service trucks in here before the snow stuff. So this is a Dong Feng branded uh, rear end garbage loader, garbage truck. And then here's a front end loader by Mac Heel. So Mac is a truck company and Heel, H-E-I-L, must make the whole thing, you know, grafted on. And so I think it was in a Terminator movie, this thing pulled up and emptied out a dumpster when the... Terminator warped in or whatever, or maybe it was John Connor that warped in. Okay, so air roads do get dirty, so this is a Beam A9500 sweeper, street sweeper, and then they make a bigger version. This is the A14000 runway sweeper, so it's out there, you know, cleaning off the debris from the airport runways, so engines don't get a bunch of nuts and bolts in there and causing plane crashes. All right, let's get these guys out of here and start doing some snow-related vehicles, snow clearing. This first one is called a LaRue T60 snowblower. All right, so just a big snowblower on the front end of a, on the front end of a tractor. But if you think this big, this is this is huge. This is called an MB2 snowplow sweeper. So the front end is a snowplow, but in the middle there's a street sweeper like a broom so you know the plow does a crude job and then the broom goes and actually really clear, clears it off and so I made these parts you know so they can articulate but ok 
Okay. And then this is called an MB4, MB4 snow blower. I don't, I don't know what the parent company is who makes MB2s and MB4s. Sounds European though. Okay. And then there's a classic. This is an Oshkosh P series uh, plow slash de icer. I remember seeing these as a kid, you know, driving on my road in New England. And uh, they obviously have a plow, but the big dump truck in the back is full of sand and salt, and this thing scatters it, much like a fertilizer uh, thing you'd have for your yard. Yeah, so that's partially why cars rusted away in New England pretty quick. Let me uh, clear this out because I got a bunch of similar vehicles next. So Oshkosh again. Here's a trio of their second generation. So we have a snow plow, and then we have a snow broom, and then we have a snow blower. But you'll see the cockpits are all identical but the rear ends are, are different and that does happen in reality I guess so some you know this one just has weights in the middle this one I don't know it's got some maybe they're generators or something I'm not sure oh this one actually has a vacuum or a blower on the back so I think that thing blows snow away from the edges I don't know what this would have why that would be there maybe it's a generator to power the broom or something you know, the street sweeper. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'll put these uh, a little bit to the side because the next trio is the third generation. So here's a third generation snowblower, a third generation broom, and a third generation plow. So you can see the cabin is a little bit different from, from the first three. And then again, the rear ends uh, have variations in them again. So yeah, this one again, being a broom, it has some sort of generator, I'm assuming. Same with the, the plow, you know, it's got to take an extra, a large amount of power to, to drive that uh, snowblower. All right. This next one is, pretty neat. That's a snowblower again by Oshkosh but it's called an XRS and so that's that's like the largest snowblower I've ever seen. It's actually a V-shaped blower with two augers at, at angles. It's pretty interesting. It looks like it's built in the third generation chassis. Just a different front end. Alright, so those are all Oshkoshes. I'll just put the last two up here anyways. This is a uh, Rolba 3000 snowblower. Okay, very modern looking one. And the last one for today. This is called a Vamas PSB5500. I'm assuming Vamas is the company that makes this, and then the model is PSB5500. So again, it's a plow in the front and a broom in the middle. So it must be very thorough cleaning off like airport runways with the broom getting all the snow out of there. Okay. Let me get uh, all these in uh, uh, set up next to each other. Okay, so here's a top view so you can see the size comparisons. Yeah, they're all bigger than that Range Rover, that's for sure. Yeah, airport vehicles, they're huge. They don't have the restrictions of public roads, so they're quite wide. Wonder if anyone had a favorite today. Uh, I'm not sure which my favorite is. It'd probably be one, either one of these crazy plow slash brooms, or possibly this one. That V-shaped uh, snowblower is really cool. Okay, well, appreciate you guys watching again, and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next 400, one 400 scale video. Uh, don't let the winter get you. See ya.